Next, we will look into system catalog views and dynamic management views. When you are working with database mirroring, uh, you should know the list of uh, the catalog views and dynamic management views to view the metadata and to monitor the database mirroring session. Okay, there are there are very few, you know, not many. We will look into uh, those catalog views now. This is one of the important catalog view to view the metadata about the database mirroring session. Okay, basically to list the databases that are mirrored. Let me select the catalog view. Okay, uh, it will say uh, what is the database name. Okay, we need to use the DB name. Okay, so it will tell what is the database name and if there is a mirroring GUID then that is the database that is mirrored. Okay, for the rest of the databases, non mirror database, you will see the value null. This is how you identify whether the database is mirrored or not. You can very well get this information from uh, sys dot uh, databases, but you won't get the mirroring specific information there. Okay, so that you can find it uh, from this uh, catalog view. Okay, so with this column, you can find whether a database is mirrored or not. Okay, so mirrored state. What is the state of the mirror? Okay, synchronize the mirroring state description. Okay, this is the value and this is the description for that. Okay, right now, this database, all three databases are synchronized and all three are principal. Okay, role sequence. Uh, let me okay here are the various mirroring states we have looked into suspended we looked in uh, suspended when you pass the mirroring session then the value will be zero okay when the mirroring is disconnected the principal server is down then you will see the disconnected status on the mirror server then the value will be one here okay when you set up the mirroring initially it will be in synchron synchronizing mode it will be in synchronizing status okay once after all the transactions that are shipped from primary to secondary then it will go to synchronized status okay when you issue manual failover or automatic failover for a brief moment of time it will be in the pending failover okay and the partners are not synchronized failover is not possible now this is something uh, that may be happening uh, by the mirroring session okay uh, I didn't see this uh, mirroring state quite often the partners are synchronized failover is potentially possible uh, blah 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 okay and mirroring role sequence it says the number of times the mirroring partners have switched the principal and mirror roles during the failover service okay that is fine basically it is one of the statistics information how many times it switched over the uh, roles okay so mirroring safety level i think asynchronous mode synchronous mode okay safety level is off safety level is full that is the description for the safety level and safety sequence okay safety sequence basically it is update the sequence number of changes to transaction safety level okay that is what it is and the mirroring partner and the mirroring partner instance name and the witness name this is the only database 
high availability database that has the witness name. Witness status one is connected. Okay, the right now the witness is connected. So the state description is here. The last the mirroring log record that has happened. Okay. The connection timeout, I think we discussed this previously. The default uh, connection timeout is 10 seconds. Uh, redo queue is null. Redo queue type is unlimited. We can set the redo queue size. Okay. Uh, but that is not recommended. Uh, in 2005, uh, we have the option to specify in 2008 R2. I didn't see how to uh, set the re redo queue size. Okay, but still uh, the met metadata shows that information. Uh, basically, uh, we can set the redo queue size on the mirror server to control the performance of the mirror server. Okay, mirroring replication. I do not know much about these two columns. I think uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, it contains the metadata of uh, database mirroring servers. Okay. The another another uh, catalog view. Okay, database mirroring endpoints. Basically, what it says the endpoint information on that server. Okay, what is the endpoint name and what is the status it started? Okay, and uh, what is its, its role? Witness or partner or all? Okay, is encryption enabled? Uh, things like that you know, windows negotiate uh, encryption algorithm whatever the options we specified while creating the endpoint you can view that here okay so basically it uh, derives uh, the information from sys endpoints okay and provides more information about the database mirroring specific okay this is another uh, catalog view uh, database mirroring catalog view that you may be interested Okay, we'll look into the another one. As you can see, uh, these are the three catalog views for mirroring. That's it. Okay, and there are two dynamic management views for the mirroring. Uh, totally, you may be interested in just, just the five um, uh, views. Okay, uh, you may want to, this is principle, you may want to execute this on the witness server. Let's go to witness server. Execute that command. Okay, so you can view the information uh, from the witness server, not from the principal server. Basically it shows the information about the witness basically it is showing for how many databases this server is acting as a witness here you can see for this database this is the principle this is the mirror and safety level is full blah 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 and things like that okay uh, if i if i set this database in Okay, for this database, database mirroring high safety HS, I am changing the operating mode to high availability. Okay, so this is high availability, high availability mode and I am going to make this also in high availability mode. Okay, now there are two databases that are going to use automatic failover. Now, when I execute this command, it shows two records. That means for every database, that are using the witness server, it is going to show the information. Okay. 
Now let's look into the dynamic management views. These are the two views. Sorry, uh, we have three views, uh, three dynamic management views. Uh, mirroring connection. Okay, it will uh, list the connections that are using the mirroring. Okay, what are the connections? What what uh, what is the state of the connection? What is the encryption algorithm that is using? How many bytes received? How many bytes sent? Uh, blah 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 information you can find uh, from this management view okay so the next management view that we will look into sys dot uh, dm underscore db automatic page repair okay so it will show the last hundred pages that mirroring session repaired okay so basically uh, there are no page errors happened so far uh, on this server on my laptop that's why it's not showing any information but uh, if there are any uh, page repair happened uh, corrupted then it repairs um, then it's going to store the statistics in this table okay so last hundred pages that were repaired uh, it's going it, it's going to show okay so since we don't have it's not showing anything so we we'll look into another uh, management view fast actions okay so whatever the actions that are performed uh, you know change the uh, state mirroring state uh, you know things like that on the database mirroring session it's going to show for example uh, we executed uh, a change state we took backup you know and uh, execute event witness connected so whenever uh, any action is performed on the database mirroring session it's going to log it here okay 